Hi, Judy from Witchcraft. Welcome to today's video. Sunday, my yarn adventures, the week that was. What did I get up to the last week? Well, that'll be part one. Part two will be the opening of my advent calendar from my yarny corner. So it's a spoiler alert. There'll be this part and then the second part will be that. So if you've bought the my yarny corner advent calendar and don't want any surprises, then thank you for watching the first part. Remember to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment on something you've seen or a suggestion you have. Um, and that's how the video will go. So the first part will have some happy mail I received, a Christmas gift I'd like to share with you and some bit of chat about other things and a bit of life chat. So let's get started. My week that was started out really well. I got some happy mail. Now, if you watched some of my previous videos, I had a bit of a whinge about the fact I couldn't get fiber fill to put into my amigurumis in our area. It was all gone. Even the thrift short shops didn't have any. But my lovely yarny friend and special friend from Victoria, Janice, sent me some. Ta -da! It arrived in the mail. I've taken it out of the packaging so you can't see it. Ta -da, ta -da! Earlier in the week. There you go. I got some from Janice, but not only that, the day that arrived, Spotlight, our local craft store, got a few in. And I managed to get, because I'm not going to run out again, a kilo bag, because that's what they got in. I actually had another friend ring me earlier and say they've got some in, and I said, it's okay, I've already been and got one. They didn't get very many, and I only and I'm not greedy. I bought one, so this now means I can get back into the battle of Amigurumi Wars for December, because I love Amigurumi Wars, and I have actually started a project already. I was hoping to do more, but in live chat I'll explain why I've become exceptionally busy. So that was, and then um, the start of my week. And then around, I can't think if it was Tuesday or Wednesday, Doreen and Emma's mum came to see me. They're leaving today to go to Sydney. Um, Emma has some specialist physio down there. And on Tuesday, Emma's Omi, her grandmother, flies in from Germany and meets up with them in Sydney. And she'll be here for Christmas. So that's absolutely awesome. She dropped in a Christmas present because when they get back, even though they're here for Christmas, it's not always easy to catch up because we're all busy and Doreen gave me a Christmas present from her and Emma so I thought I'd share that with you. She bought me one of these calendars last year and I didn't share it and I really loved it and we do like a calendar in our house still a little old-fashioned and she got me another one this year. It's from a shop here called Making Whoopie. I haven't been yet. I did have plans to go yesterday but Life took a strange turn this way. It's all different artistic interpretations of Australian birds or birds that are found in Australia. Oh, there's a koala, so it's not all birds. There's a thorny devil, there's a lizard, there's a platypus. Australian animals. I'll show you a couple. The reason I'm showing you, look at that. Isn't that awesome, the colours in that? I was looking at it and thinking, how could I incorporate that into project for myself next year because there are beautiful colors and birds and animals in this if you have any ideas let me know in the comments below and then also with the present was a jar of who you hooray plum curry base this is made up on the Atherton Tableland locally. Making Whoopi the shop actually has a lot of local stuff. I looked at their shop online, some really nice things. I do plan to go there because I think I could get some little Christmas presents from there that are locally made. Doreen wants to know what the curry tastes like when I make them make it because I do like making curries. I can't remember if I said that. 
I also got a Christmas card from a lifelong friend in WA and she makes cards and she recycles and repurpose which I like to do and she's made me this card and sent it to me so she's cut out the front of an old card bits and pieces there more old and made a new card which is awesome because there and I'd say this was some sort of packaging out of something and she's turned it into a card so isn't that great it's a good idea um i used to have a friend when i was a lot younger i send her a christmas card overseas and the following year she would send me the same one back with new until we filled it up it went backwards and forwards backwards and forwards it was a great way for pen pals to keep in touch and have this one christmas card so there's an idea for you either repurpose and make your own cards I just keep one and say I expect PS I expect you to send this back to me next year with some new words and sentiments you've written so that was my lovely kiss and happy mail I got this week um, it's really nice and then my I had a speed bump because on Facebook there it was the large charity has decided to run another craft market on the same day as our seaside market where I'm planning to have a fundraising store for Emma. No doubt because theirs is in an air conditioned pavilion and it's quite hot here, it will erode at our foot traffic and sales. So I am not confident we will make as much money as I thought we would. So it sort of put a a dent in my mojo and I stopped making things it really annoys me that they've done this again and it really annoys me that they don't put a disclaimer that that um, the amount they fundraise is heavily um, they take a heavy deduction for administration costs that's enough of my whinge we will move on to happier things the other thing Doreen did bring in was she does regular fundraising around town with Cadbury's chocolates, like the boxes and these. And she's got quite a few businesses around town who have them. One of them is one of my boss's business. And he, she does quite well with it. So she drops off a box of chocolates, she picks up the money. And because she has fundraised quite a bit with Cadbury, they have sent her some things to sell or raffle or to do with whatever she wants. And one of the things she brought in to show me, and I think is awesome, and I've bought a few, is celebrating 100 years of Cadbury, they have these bags. They're really good, solid, like tote material. And um, they're quite big. They have a box bottom, a little pocket on the front, and a, like a phone or pocket on the inside. I'm going to keep one as a project bag for myself and I bought a couple because I thought they might be nice in a giveaway or part of a gift, um, an end of year gift. What do you think? If Would you like one of these as a project bag or is the advertising of Cadbury too much for you? But they are awesome. There was other stuff she had and I bought a few things off her to put into gifts for people I know will won't mind and it also helps her fundraise with these things I'm also um, got a few things to sell on the store she got some Cadbury teddy bears um, some balls like little stress balls um, pens I can't think what else there was oh tins that were awesome there's a, a guy who collects tins who visits my market quite a bit because sometimes I'll find tins in charity shops and um, he's bought a few off me so hopefully I'll sell some of that stuff for her and make use of it and we'll raise a bit of money with that but yeah I'm going to have one of those as a project bag for a larger project so what else have I been up to well my one finished object is late it is the November tea cozy for Setter's calendar cow and there it is this is a paid for pattern. That's where I'm going to be putting my price tag, by the way. Um, it's called the Emily Tea Cozy. It's quite popular. I've made a few. It, this is based on the colours from the picture in the calendar, a bit of yellow, beige. So how it is, it's um, made in two halves and you sew it together. And I, I won't open it because I'll probably drop the teapot. 
if you look at that, you sit your teapot inside and button it up. Um, I did change this, however, because it's quite an old pattern. Instead of um, knitting two sides and sewing them together, I actually picked up stitches along the bottom, then knitted the inside. And rather than just sewing the top together, I Kitchener stitched it. Now, I did play yarn chicken because I ran out of beige and green. But lucky for me, there was yellow or this pale yellow in the picture and I Kitchener stitched with the pale yellow. I actually think it turns out better with my adjustments to the pattern. But I will put a link in the, to the pattern in the description below. And for anyone who's interested in uh, making Whoopi Shop, because they do uh, sell online, I'll put a link to that shop too. So, I'll just pause it. I need to get a drink. Sorry, my throat was getting really raspy and dry. Live chat. What was the big speed hunt? Well, it came later in the week. Things back is spasming and he's not doing great. He can't move too much or walk around. He's either got to sit up straight or lay down straight. He, it's really quite painful. I think it was about five years ago he had major back surgery, which did sort of work. He does yoga because it helps his back, but it started spasming and I believe it's because he's been working on our front door um, to those subscribers who've watched before he is doing our front door um, which is quite a big project if you're new to the channel welcome you will learn along the way he's doing our front door it's looking awesome he's ready to stain it but I believe it's because he's got it quite low and he's been bending over and sort of rushing it because I think he wanted to finish it for Christmas, which is really silly. I'm not that house proud that I need a flashy front door for Christmas. And also, we're not having visitors at Christmas. I'm always too busy while I'm working and I don't do big Christmas dinners anymore. I used to have heaps of people over and do dinners. I just find them exhausting. And uh, yeah. We just have a quiet family one. Anyone who does visit won't care whether the front door's there or not. So he's had to stop and he's resting. And why is that a speed hump for me? Well, someone asked me, how come you do so much crafting when you work and you have a house to run and everything? Where do you find the time? Well, I'm not a great sleeper, but besides that, and it wasn't a discussion we had, it was just a routine we fell into. We're both Torians, Thing and I, so everything has a place and goes back into its place. It's just a Torian thing, we think. But he um, does what I call the heavy lifting. He does all the mopping of floors, vacuuming, dusting, cleaning the bathrooms, Monday to Friday, like his little job. And he also does the big weekly shop. The reason I'm smiling is he has to have a list and it is a family joke that if it's not on the list, he's not going to buy it. You will not find any mystery items amongst the shopping or any surprise items unless it's an awesome special and he thinks it's a bargain, which isn't very often. So yes, he does all that for me Monday to Friday. He also, before I go to work, if I need some prep done, like an onion dice, carrot grated, cheese grated, anything I need, He's my sous chef and he does all that. And when I come home, it's ready for me to cook. So with him out of action, my workload's increased. Generally on weekends, I do all the cleaning, prepping, cooking, and he has the weekend off to do whatever he wants. But I've had to do it and pick it up. And I think I'll be doing a lot more of it next week. Reeves has been pitching in and helping. He cooked last night and did all the cleaning up. So yeah, I did have one night off but I haven't done much crafting. The only crafting I've been doing is my advent calendar. I love it. So this is part one of my um, video, my yarn adventures for this week. Part two will be my advent calendar. So if you have the My Yarny Corner advent calendar, spoiler alert, the second part 
will be the opening of day four, five, and six. I'm doing three days at a time because I don't have time to do a video at, uh, every day. And uh, it's going to get worse if he's out of action with his back for a while. So, yes. Thank you to watching to this point. If you don't want any um, surprises and to see the yarn for the next, you know, for day four, or five and six in the advent calendar, I understand. I don't like it happening either. So leave a comment. Let me know in the um, description below what you think about the Cadbury bag and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. So the next part will be I did it early this morning. I couldn't wait. I'm really surprised how much I love this advent calendar. Um, I love the project I'm knitting. It's a bit of a challenge for me, so I'm going slow. I still haven't finished day three, but I'm hoping to get that finished tonight um, and start at least start day four tonight. And yes, I just love it. The yarn is beautiful. Uh, lovely and soft if I knew it was going to be this soft I probably would have done a baby project it's perfect it's just so soft and so luscious so yes part two will be the opening of my advent calendar so I hope you stay with me I want to see what it's up to it's just a joy. I, I once bought a mystery bag of Christmas yarn from Lion Brand and I wasn't disappointed in that. It was like nine balls and they gave you three balls of one type of yarn, three balls of another type, three balls of another type and I really loved it. And then I bought a mystery box from a local Australian yarn company and that was a disaster, absolute disaster. I still think I have bits and pieces from that that I'll never use, that I need to go through my yarn stock and just give to a charity shop because truly I swore I'd never buy another mystery box after that one. It was such a, a waste of money. Anyway, I also was doing the Stephen West mystery cowl and I'm not sure I like mystery cowls. One, because um, first of all, there weren't spoiler alerts when people were posting their um, projects before I'd even opened mine because of the time difference and uh, yeah I just think it's nice if you put a spoiler alert in case someone doesn't want a surprise about something they wanted to surprise themselves with also when the finished objects were being posted the projects I actually didn't like it and uh, I couldn't see myself wearing it and I couldn't see myself giving it to anyone here and that would have been an expensive exercise. So I'm not doing that anymore. I don't think mystery cows are my thing unless I've got an idea of what they're going to be. But I do love this advent calendar. Not only the project, but the beautiful yarn and the way it's been presented. Alex and Danny did an awesome job. Vlogmas, I'm not, there's so many people doing Vlogmas. I'm only watching a handful of people because of my limited amount of time. Um, even comments may just be a koala head letting you know I visited and watched it. I may not have had time to comment, but I always put a, a, an emoji of a koala to let you know it's me down under. Guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and you could enjoy some Cadbury chocolate in your project bag. Bye for now stay part stay tuned for part two if it's your thing hi judy from witch peace craft welcome it is early sunday morning it's about 8 30 a.m i've been up since about 6 30 doing things as things back is still really quite bad so this is a spoiler alert I will be opening my my Yanni corner advent calendar for day four five and six spoiler alert so if you don't want to see the yarn colors because you bought it thank you for stopping by and watching I really appreciate it and hope to see you in the next video on my yarn adventures 
So I've opened day one, two and three and I've managed to get started day three. I am a little behind but that's due to circumstances beyond my control. I am really enjoying the pattern. It is housed in my bag here. Yes, I frogged the Stephen West mystery cow and didn't end up doing it. One, I wasn't enjoying it. And two, when some of the finished objects came out or projects from different people, I didn't really like the look of it. And I'm thinking this is going to be a really expensive exercise for something I won't use. So, not doing the Stephen West cow. The pattern itself is, um, I guess, for advanced knitters, relatively easy to follow. But it is testing my skills a little bit. It's the winter dawn pattern, this one here. This is where I'm up to. This little slider things were sent to me by Gary from Urban Yarn. Thank you, Gary. They're really useful. I love using them on patterns. Also, when he sent me those, he sent me a pouch, which I'm keeping my notebook and things in for this project. So everything for my make-along is in here. Do I show you my progress? Hmm. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see the progress on my um, Advent Make Along for myself with my Yarny Corner yarn. Just, um, yeah, do I wait and keep it a mystery till I finish it? Let me know what you think. So on with the opening. Day four. I'm so excited. I have really enjoyed this. I love knitting it. It's like I've got to finish this section so I can start another colour. Um, I've done very little else to be honest. So in here is a tea. Everyday twinings. We don't get this one here, not to my knowledge. This will be awesome. I drink a lot of tea. I'm currently drinking coffee in um, Reeves's M&M mug. I broke my coffee mug that I really like. I bought him this on a trip to London. Um, because he does like M&M's. And yeah, I bought him this mug. But I've stolen it today. So the yarn for day four. We move away into, from the green, lime green, into some variegated blue. That is lovely. This yarn is knitting up so soft. I, I do like the um, pattern I'm doing. But I'm starting to think it would have been great in a baby blanket. It is so soft. My problem with the pattern is it's four ply. It's fine yarn for me. DK weight is my favourite weight. And I do struggle knitting with a finer yarn. And that's why I'm testing my limits to make this pattern with the finer yarn. I know um, Karen Wright from Building Blessings Etsy. She loves four ply especially baby four ply. This is awesome yarn. So that's day four. Day five. What will day five bring? So hopefully I'll get that started today because I'll finish day three off sometime if I find some time to knit. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Another chocolate eclair. Day five. Oh, we move into variegated purples. This is turning out to be nothing like I expected. I just expected a different lot of greens being a Yorkshire advent. But it's beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. And I'm not a purple person, but I do like that variegated changing. So day five. I keep them in the bags. Tea bag, a chocolate eclair. Day six. Six is my lucky number. Will it be orange? My favourite colour. Let's see. I have another everyday tea, and would you credit it? It's it's got orange in it. Ah, oh, they must have known. Six is my lucky number, and it's got orange in it. It's a variegated lemon to orange. That is awesome. I love that colour. Maybe should dye some 100 gram yanks in this colour. Danny, I really love it. And this is my lucky number. Day six. It goes into orange. 
I'm so glad the colours are different. I, the actual pattern I picked isn't using as much yarn as they said. I did go down a needle size. Um, it says 4mm and I went to 3.5 because I, I found it just looked too lacy and holy on the 4. But it's not using all the yarn. And here's me thinking my first advent, advent I've got to use the whole lot. I don't because I watched... Um, Tanya from Karma is a Stitch and Alex from My Yarn in Corner and they use a bit of it and put some away for another project. So after day one and two, no day two, I decided I'd do and pick a spot to stop at and then there'd be a little better left over and I'm going to use those in another project. All right, I'm so excited and tea to try every day. I'm sure we don't get this here. Guys, that is my advent calendar opening. There are a lot of vlogmas out there, a lot of people opening advent, so I do appreciate you stopping by and watching it. I love to see your comments. Do you want to see my progress, or would you rather wait, leave it as a mystery to the end? Now I have some really variegating colours and changing colours. Maybe a progress showing might be worthwhile for you to see let me know in the comments below until next time stay safe stay well and get some orange into your life you won't regret it